the rate of a chemical reaction is always affected by the size of the particles involved. We can easily show this by trying to burn some iron. If you hold an iron nail in a Bunsen burner flame, very little happens. If you hold it there long enough it will glow red hot, but there's no real chemical change. If instead you take iron wool, the thin fibres allow a lot more oxygen to contact the metal, and this time it actually does burn. You can see a cascade of sparks as it reacts with the oxygen. If you sprinkle powdered iron into a Bunsen burner flame, you'll see a series of bright sparks as the small particles of iron burn. This is used in quite a lot of fireworks. It is possible though to get particles that are smaller still. If you take iron oxalate powder and heat it strongly, this causes it to decompose to produce iron nanoparticles. If you then expose these to the air by pouring them from a tube, then they spontaneously combust in a shower of orange sparks. This is described as being pyrophoric. <laughs>